Using comments can help with editing or suggesting changes when working on a spreadsheet with others. If I have nothing selected, then click the comment button here in the toolbar. A comment is added that I can click and drag to move anywhere I want. Within it I can write a comment. At the top here is the author name, which is currently set to Drew S. The author name can be set and changed from the general pane in Numbers Preferences. Also in a comment window is a timestamp letting me know when the comment was made, a delete button, and a couple arrows that will let me jump from comment to comment in the document. Another way to add a comment is to select an item first and then click the comment button. This item can be a chart, a single cell, or just a selection of text. I'll add a comment to the chart here, and then one more to one of the cells in the table. There's now a yellow marker to the left of the chart, signifying that there's a comment here. Click on it to view or edit the comment. There's also a small yellow marker in this cell where I've added a comment. Now let's add a comment from a different author. Having multiple authors is helpful if you're working with someone else on a spreadsheet, or they're helping you edit it. Remember, my author name is set to Drew S. So I'm going to save this document, and then open it up over on my MacBook Air. On this Mac, I have the author name set to Mike B. Under the View menu in the Comments section, I have the author color set to Teal. So in this spreadsheet, the comments from Drew S. will be in yellow, and the ones from Mike in Teal. I'll add a couple new comments from Mike, save the file, and open it up back on my iMac. So here are Mike's comments. Next up, we'll look at sharing numbers documents. 